Now after this, let me explain what is the turning moment diagram for 4 stroke engine. Turning moment diagram for 4 stroke engines. First let me give you what is the definition of turning moment diagram. It is defined as an area under torque and angle of rotation of crankshaft which gives the energy stored or given by the flywheel so here I have written the definition of turning moment diagram turning moment diagram it is defined as an area under torque and angle of rotation of crankshaft which gives the energy stored or given by the flywheel so let me explain this diagram first here I am drawing a graph in which on y axis I have torque or it is called as turning moment unit will be Newton meter then on x axis I have theta or angle of rotation of crankshaft this is the crank angle theta now for 4 stroke engine 4 stroke engine is that engine which produces power stroke in 2 revolutions of crankshaft that is you can say that the 4 processes of suction compression expansion and exhaust they are completed in two revolutions of crankshaft means for two revolution we have 720 degree it means for each of the stroke that is for suction we require 180 degree for compression 180 degree rotation and similarly for expansion and exhaust so let me illustrate this So here we have from 0 to 180 degree it is suction stroke from 180 degree to 360 degree it is compression stroke 360 to 540 degree it is expansion stroke and 540 to 720 degree it is exhaust stroke so we means if the crank angle is rotating by these rotations these much rotation we are getting each of the strokes now let me complete the diagram now the diagram which I have drawn it is showing some kind of fluctuation the red line which I have completed here this red line indicates mean torque the meaning of this mean torque is that engine requires mean torque for its operation that is mean torque provides the working of the engine now this much torque is always required by the engine as we can see in case of suction stroke we are having this small negative loop and then it is a small positive loop it means during suction the energy is taken from the engine that is why the work is negative we can see here then similarly from 180 to 360 degree there is compression stroke and again in compression stroke we are getting negative loop it means the work is taken from the engine now as we can see in case of expansion stroke we are getting 
some amount of extra work in case of this power stroke here i am marking this area this shaded area which i have marked the torque which i am getting at this region this is the maximum torque means engine requires only mini mean torque or average torque for its operation but in case of power stroke i am getting a maximum torque so this much shaded area which i am getting here that amount of work is stored in the flywheel we can say work or energy this much energy is extra so this extra energy gets stored in the flywheel and then this extra energy is supplied during the suction compression and exhaust strokes so from this turning moment diagram it is very much clear that the fluctuation of energy is balanced by the energy which is provided by the flywheel and from this we can say that work is given from this diagram as t mean into theta that is area under the turning moment diagram will give us the amount of work or energy which is stored in the flywheel so this completes the turning moment diagram for four stroke engine